Hey guys, Justin here, Mr. Beamer. Oh no, wait, we're actually rebranding the channel. So let me welcome you to Justin on Cars. The reason for the rebranding is I'm very, very passionate about BMW, but I'm a big car lover. I absolutely love cars, all brands, and I also want to experience all the different types of brands out there, and I want you guys to experience that with me. So today we are starting here at BMW SMG Cape Town. They sponsored me this car. So we are starting with the Toyota Corolla Cross, and this is the 1.8 GR Sport. Enjoy, guys. Let's get into this car together. We're going to experience everything together because I've never driven the Toyota Corolla Cross at all. So I think we're going to enjoy this together, guys, because we're going to see what this car gives and what it is all about at the end of the day. I think just from the looks of it, just by walking past this car, price range, it is a very practical car. It is a massive car for the price range. And I really think that this is something that South Africa is looking for. It is something affordable, but something very, very practical and very, very reliable. I mean, guys, it's a Toyota. I mean, Toyotas will last you a lifetime. Welcome to the Toyota Corolla Cross, and this is the 1.8 GR Sport. So no, guys, nothing has been changed on the engine on this car. It's just the 1.8i, but it's got the GR Sport package. So you can see a lot of the black trimming just looks stunning you'll see on the inside just looks phenomenal with red stitching but we'll get there when we get onto the inside you can see over there GR absolutely beautiful guys and what does GR stand for Kazoo Racing so 2023 with about 2000 k's on the clock this car is going for 469 I think they go for about 500,000 rand ish brand spanking new but I mean come on guys this is practically brand spanking new I love this silver with the black contrast and you can see it is the cross because it's got all this black trimmings over here so it gives that sort of crossover SUV vibe for a normal sedan type of car but guys it's a very very practical car let me quickly show you the boot space well before we get to the boot space let me show you the back they always make sure that you know it's a Toyota and a Cross and a GR you can see there where is it over there come on Corolla Cross you can see it over there and then of course GR Sport again at the back but it's a funky looking car I love the shape and the look of this car it really is fantastic it gives it like a sort of a big broader style and look to it I love this over here and you can see the Corolla Cross it even has the roof rails over here so you can put your two-layer box or whatever the case on there to carry more things or your skis we are in Cape Town so you'll most probably put your surfboard on the top there I love the design of the roof as well check there Yes, and I love this view here by BMW Cape Town. It is fantastic. So let me quickly show you the boot space. Corolla Cross. It has a reverse camera over there. So the spec is also quite nice for this price point, guys. 469,000 Rand. So 440, 440 liters of boot space. Now let me just move my tripod over there. And you get a spare wheel at the bottom here. It is a Mori Biscuit spare wheel, but at least you do get a spare wheel. But it's a nice boot space. More than enough to get all the school bags and sport bags for your kids when you take them to school or to sport or just to take your dogs for a day out on the beach and listen to this quality uh -oh. okay. except for this thing shaking around obviously the quality is phenomenal let's jump into the back let's see what this back space looks like Sitting at the back of this Toyota Corolla Cross, guys, there's a lot of space in here. I have to be honest. I love this black roof lining. You'll see it when we jump into the front as well. But the leather seats, it smells like a Toyota. Like it smells like my, my younger days. One of my friend's dad used to drive a Toyota Camry those days and it smells exactly the same. Oh, I absolutely love it. And then let's quickly see what's in here. 
cup holders with your center armrest that's quite nice and you can see this is my driving position guys and you can see there's ample amount of space and also with the roof i mean this is very far from me this is very very far so even if you're like a, a six foot sort of guy or person you will definitely still fit into this car you get a little bit of a reading lights over here some air vents to keep you nice and cool and two usb-c ports at the bottom over there i can feel that the aircon is actually coming through here so it's not just cold air but it's actually the aircon not really anything else there's some nice cubby holders over here and then obviously it's a one-click electric window so down and up so nice and easy absolutely enjoy it you can't really see it though but i mean that's fine and on this side not on your driver's side on the passenger side you actually get a little bit of a cubby to keep all your papers or anything that you want in there i see you can actually also pull these seats forward so you can have that extra bit of space for your boot should you need it or carry longer items or more items let's jump in to the front and you can see it has the keyless entry guys so at this price point you really really do get a lot look at this door over here so everything here is soft touch as well soft touch so everything you touch is very soft and very durable you can see this quality it's very very durable guys it is absolutely stunning the only plastics you'll find in here is here at the bottom and maybe on the top here and then over here is also some plastic but over here you get a nice soft touch and look at this massive screen it's not a massive massive screen but it's more than enough for you to see whatever is going on with your phone or audio or music that you are playing let's quickly check this leather on the steering wheel oh and it's got such a nice soft drive we will take this car out for a drive just now so you can experience it with me but again on this price point with these leather seats look at the embroidery on there dr with the red stitching and of course you get electric seats how nice is that at this price point guys electric seats at this price point is you don't see that every day love this red inserts over here i guess that is for the gr sport only and look at the design you get your cup holders over there the design is phenomenal i just love the way everything moves forward normal usb over there there you can switch off your traction control there's a little cubby over there and just the layout of everything it just looks fantastic everything is just laid out very well and very nice to use and yo, you can feel the quality of that very stunning even this you can feel nothing is going to break in this car guys let's see what's in here open that up just a cubby underneath the center armrest with a 12 volt socket and let's quickly have a look at your cubby in here let's see what's the size of that cubby quite big i mean you can get quite a lot of things in there i guess really feels phenomenal inside this car let me close the door properly you can see fully digital dash and if you go through it you can also see it's got all the lane changing so it's got lane changing assist pdc so park distance control it's got your front collision warning and also your lane change assistance as well so you can switch that off but that's currently on so as soon as you switch the car on you get in and that's on everything is on all the time so you can decide if you want to switch it off have a look at this design again guys beautiful eh? love the black roof lining over there it makes this car feel so sporty i just want to quickly play with the radio while i'm inside the car so let's quickly see where's the power i want to get a radio station so channels no channels track oh that's am we don't own oh, it's touchscreen yay everything must be touchscreen these days hey eh, guys so we don't want am we want pm so source so let's say f ah, am we want fm <laughs> Uh-uh. Is there nothing? Let's just go. Okay, well. Let's listen. I mean, decent. It's decent. It's not the best, but it's decent. So let's go set up. So your phone, Bluetooth, audio. Okay, voice, phone, menu. Let's go there. Very intuitive, guys. And here's your reverse cam. Quickly have a look at that. So not the best greatest quality but i mean big enough for you to see everything that's going on there the funny thing about this car the handbrake you saw that there's no handbrake no auto brake this one you have to kick like that like an old bucky <laughs> we'll take it out for a drive just now but i just want to let you guys know i'm absolutely in love with this car i mean the fact that you pay under 500 000 rand for toyota build quality and this practicality it is 
phenomenal. I just want to feel this 1800 normally aspirated engine now. I just want to feel what that feels like. It really feels so sporty in here. Absolutely a stunner. So with this 1.8 four cylinder engine, you get 103 kilowatts and 172 newton meters of torque. And knowing that this is a Toyota, you know it will last you a lifetime. And this is more than enough power. We'll take it out for a drive now, but you'll experience this is more than enough power to take you around town and also for your occasional long distance driving. It's got a CVT gearbox, but with the newer technology, it is as smooth as butter. Let's take this GR out for a drive and feel what it feels like out on the road. Our first drive in Cape Town. Park brake off. Something is going on. Oh, my door is open. Okay, <laughs> let me just get my seat in place and let's go. Let's just look for people. I wanna drive over everyone. Just driving off past the dealership, going to the road, you can immediately feel how smooth this drive is. I don't know my way around here yet, so we're just gonna drive. <laughs> and hope we get back to the dealership um, in one piece i guess i absolutely love the fact that this car is so practical guys it is so spacious i feel i, I don't feel like i'm driving a non-premium brand let's be honest about that it is it does feel very premium so it says no entry but let's go around this way okay i can feel that this automatic engine is actually packing a punch and this aircon is freezing cold wow it's on low and it is freezing cold. Whew, it packs a punch, eh? 1800 engine, really not a bad engine. I have to say, it's, uh, you can feel it. Here's some cops giving some fines and tickets. I just wonder how we get around here. I don't want to go too far, so I'll most probably just go around the block once or twice. And here's a... Uh, amateur guy trying to do parallel parking that doesn't help see that's why you need the reverse cam and you need the park distance control and this is what this car gives you it really makes parking a lot easier wow okay you can feel it's not a, a zf box or anything like that let's be honest but this cvt box is phenomenal it's smooth it doesn't like rick and pluck you around it's very smooth so let's quickly just go over the road so let's give it some beans past here quickly more than enough power guys more than enough power it's so smooth i mean this 1800 engine let's see what the fuel consumption is currently sitting at we're sitting at about 13 liters per kilometers that i've seen on an average with this car but i know when you because i mean obviously it's a test drive car now and it's still brand spanking new i know for a fact you can get about seven liters per kilometers the papers say 6.7 but you'll get about seven liters per kilometers with this baby let's say seven to eight liters per kilometers with this beauty but in town that's on an average on a combined figure i think in town it's going to be a little bit heavier i have no clue where i'm driving now so we will make a u-turn here in front and get back to the dealership yes guys it is actually so nice like it actually works so well it sounds a little bit funny with the cvt box i mean it's that old sort of are they 13.4 liters per kilometers it's that old automatic sort of sound but it's smooth and generous i have to say it changes quickly you can put it in manual let's put it in manual let's see how quickly it changes gears and let's quickly see how many gears there are oh it doesn't want to tell me i need to drive through all the gears <laughs> but it's soft it's comfortable inside it feels very very premium ish i mean it's not a premium car but it feels very very premium ish guys like it's it's actually quite uh, scary how cars have picked up these days i mean especially at this sort of price point and this build quality this car is solid wow so we went to second gear the gears changed quite quickly actually going all around the circle Hey, you must not walk in the street. You will die. And all of a sudden a red robot. Very strange how the robots work here. I'm not even like in tune with everything yet. But we will get to used to, we will get used to Cape Town and the way things work here. <laughs> no, if it was my money, 
the style, the looks of this car. If I had 500,000 Rand and I had to get something very practical, um, I mean, this is the first car that I review for Justin on cars. We will drive many more cars and we will compare them um, to each other. Not to each other, but we will, like, say, you know, this is a little bit better than what I drove the other day. Keep an eye out for that, guys. I really think you're going to enjoy it and seeing all these cars and driving them with me so we can experience it. But this car is soft, easy to drive. With my money, I would most definitely look at something like this. Okay, we have stopped. I like the fact that this car is very, very nippy around town. It really is such a nippy car. It's not too big, but it's a big car. Phenomenal, guys. Like, I don't know. Toyota has always been a trustworthy brand and I now know exactly why. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and remember to share with your friends so they can also experience Justin on Cars, the new name brand on this fantastic channel guys. So we are going to enjoy the cars together. We're going to do a lot of different cars. We will still do a lot of BMWs. Don't you guys worry. Like I say, my passion is a lot with BMW at the end of the day as well, but I absolutely love cars. So this is just to enjoy it with you guys and to give you guys the experience of what is out there in our country. Thank you guys and remember to like, subscribe and share and share 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 guys i want everyone to see this and everyone to know who we are and where we're changing to and what we are going to do in the future remember to also hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified on any new uploads thank you guys have a lucky day stay safe peace